Now, one car that caught my eye as it came through the entrance was this Lotus 6. Now, obviously, with the continuous um, supply of cars through Caterham, the 7 is well known, but the 6, not so well. And as you probably guess, it was the car that Lotus produced before the 7 come along. Now, I've got the owner, Charles, here, who has very kindly agreed to tell us a little bit about this. And it's got quite a story when it comes to you. This, so this car was originally supplied as a kit in 1954. And, but when did you buy it? I bought it in 71. So that's 52 years ago? Yeah. Okay. And w w what sort of condition was it in when you got it? It was, it was crashed. It was, um, had a front wheel hanging off and the front, front radius rod was all bent and the, the chassis was bent as well. So quite a lot of work involved. But apart from that, it was as good as new. Good as yes. Yeah. So, so these are, I know, are quite a sought-after car nowadays. So, so back in 1971, how much did you have to shell out for it? Well, I had to pay 25 pounds for this one, mostly because of the accident damage. But um, yes, they were worth 150 or so at the time. I know, I know you have to take inflation into consideration, but they're still uh, amazing numbers. And w over the years, presumably you've enjoyed it quite a lot. Do you get it back on the road sort of fairly quickly? I did actually, yes, in about three years. Because I've got another one, but that took me 30 years to get back on the road. So. Well, the old saying is you can't rush a good job, so that's not too much of a problem. So uh, uh, have you had a few adventures in it over the years? I've been to um, Le Mans um, a couple of what. Yes, a couple of times now. And um, also I used to speed hill climb it at Prescott. So, and um, put the original Type F engine back in, the side valve Ford engine. Because originally this would, car would have been uh, Ford 100E based? Ford, E93A, so the even earlier one. Because uh, the 100E didn't come out till later on. So. so that would have been, is that what they used to call the old um, sort of sit up and beg um, car? Yeah. So... And any sort of plans for it, apart from enjoying it? <laughs> That's half the fun of it, isn't it? Or most of the fun of it, actually enjoying it. Because yeah. it used to race when it was new. It did the um, 1172 series, which was sponsored by Colin Chapman of Lotus. So you, you were competing for the Chapman Cup. And the um, it wasn't the first owner, but it was actually the second owner, a man called John Darrisley, and he was very successful with it. And he went on to be a Lotus Works driver later on. So this car has got, you know, real history, character and uh, patina. It has, yes. And it's fun to drive as well. It, it, it just, you know, I, I just love it because as we, we spoke off camera uh, very much about how a lot of stuff nowadays gets over restored and it's you know put back to how it is in the factory and i just love this car because there is just so much character to it it's a real tribute to you that you've kept it like this that you you haven't sort of you know done one of those restorations where you've taken it off the road and got all back and shiny now i think this is absolutely fantastic and a, a real credit to you thank you yeah Brilliant. thanks for your time charles it's really appreciated yeah,